All right, this is going to be a lecture on defining work and energy. When defining work and energy, you have to first define your system. Your system, similar to conservation of energy, is going to be the object or objects you're interested in. As you can see in this first example, we have a, a baseball. Baseball being the uh, this part of the system here, and the earth is going to be part of our system. So the baseball and the earth, is there energy between that? You bet. Uh, the force of gravity is pulling down, and so that is a force inside of our system. Here we have a slingshot, and on this slingshot you can see he's pulling it with a force. And so there's an external force working on our system. And so there's energy being put into the system. Here we have a matchstick and a matchbox. And again, the matchstick and the matchbox, there's a force between those two. But there's also this hand causing another external force. And so there's energy being put into that system. So when we talk about systems, we're going to be looking for what is the uh, energy in the system and is there any energy coming into or out of the system. So we define work as um, work is any force that is applied to uh, an object and the object must move. So the key parts here is any force and there must be motion. The force must have a, a, a component in the direction of motion and so basic uh, equation down here is work equals force times distance. In this example you can see the backpack has been shifted from position A to position B by a force. The force is in the direction that it was shifted and so we know that work was done. Since the uh, force was a constant force, we know that there was a constant work being done. The relationship between work and change in energy is the, is the result established by Mr. James Prescott Joule a physicist and so the unit of energy is honored in his name called joule joule is a unit of energy alright so through the process of doing work energy is transferred between an external the external world and the system Work is that process that allows us to transfer energy from the external world into the system. The direction of energy transfer can go both ways. You can have where it comes from the external world and works on the system. And so we have positive energy. Or you could have it where the system does work on the external world and so therefore your system would have negative energy or, or energy is decreased in your system. So positive energy where energy comes into the system and it increases. Negative energy where energy goes out of your system or it decreases. Let's look at a few examples here. Here I have a box that was moving to the right originally. There's a force pushing it to the right and you can see that it changed its position by some delta x. And so since the force and the direction of motion is the same, you can see we have positive work. Or work is greater than zero. In this next example, we can see that the force is slightly changed. Um, again, it's there's still a component of this force vector. There's still this small component that's in the direction of motion. And so you can still see that we have uh, work being, being positive or greater than zero. In this next example, the force vector is no longer in the direction of motion. You see it's straight up and down. And so we see that work is equal to zero when the force and the direction are not in the same direction. And then in these next examples you can see some examples where work is less than zero. In other words, there's some outside force 
causing the object to, in this case, slow down, and therefore you have negative work. Let's look at an example of calculating work from a graph standpoint. Here we have a graph where we have force plotted on the, uh, the vertical axis and displacement or distance plotted on the horizontal axis. And um, you can see that the force stayed at 20 the whole time of, uh, of a time of 1.5. So to find work, we simply calculate the area under the graph. The area under this graph would be 20 times 1.5, producing a, a total work of 30 joules. So area under a force displacement graph equals work. What happens if the work is not constant? For example, if you're, you're pulling and over time you're, you're pushing with more force, the same thing would occur. You would find the area under this graph, much like we did in the very first unit, this area equals the work done. And so calculating that out, area is base times height divided by 2, and in this case we get 80 joules. So to sum it up, work is energy, and anything that can do work, which basically means apply a force to an object and cause objects to move a distance, has what we call energy. And we calculate it simply by force times distance, and the unit of energy is defined as the joule. Thanks for watching and learning about work and energy.